more flashes from Julian Hill. At this point, is he doing enough to put himself seriously in the mix for the 53, do you think? Well, all three of them, I mean all three, all, all those guys are going to be in the mix. Obviously, Durham's the only one that has got a position locked up, so we'll just keep the competition going. But I'm pleased with uh, the progress he's made and the transition um, from the college game to what we're doing. And, uh, you know, he tries to get better every day, just like all those guys, and so I'm happy with him. He's a bigger body guy in some way. What, what skills appeal to you about Julian as you've seen him? Uh, he has a lot of power, you know, some of the physicality and his mindset that, that he plays with is something that, uh, you know, we're trying to get going in this room uh, since I've been here. And uh, he's uh, physically tough and mentally tough. How is the Sobert? Yeah. Yeah. Same question. Yeah, how, how does the Sobert injury impact things? Is he, I saw him fire his helmet into the ground when he came off the field. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. I just know, he, you know, he's got the... Uh, a lower body injury and uh, I don't know how long he'll be out officially but uh, that's why it's important I tell the guys that every time you're out there put good stuff on tape so if something like this happens we have a good idea for uh, what you're capable of doing and and uh, how well you understand the system and all that so because um, injury is obviously part of the game and uh, if you've been doing what you're supposed to do up to that point you usually shouldn't have anything to uh, worry about. How is Salbert uh um, he's he's done well, you know. Um, we've asked him to do some different things than probably maybe what he's been used to, a little bit, you know, with uh, Alec going down doing some fullback stuff. So that's been a bit of adjustment, but uh, for the most part, he's he's done a good job. All of them, you know, I'm hammering about pad level, those kind of technical things. But uh, um, him, just like like I said, everybody really in that room, I'm really pleased with with it, what everyone's done. John, is Elijah along enough in the developmental process where you think he can help you on the field this year, or is it too early to make that determination? I think it's too early. You know, again, you're making that transition. Uh, you know, Tanner Connor last year made that transition. I uh, had Cam Brait. You know, Cam, it took uh, almost two years to make that transition. So everybody's different. You know, the thing about him uh, is he's a smart kid and he picks up stuff. It's just really exposing him to enough things, you know, because every time he does something, it's his first time. And I got to keep reminding myself of that, so I, I'm not too uh, critical of him. But again, I, I'm really pleased with uh, the strides he's made. And uh, I, I challenge him and Julian every day to make new mistakes. And they've done that. They very rarely have they made a sa the same mistake twice, which as a coach you love. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it is. I mean, my first year in the system, I was a wide receiver coach in San Fran. That was hard. That was really difficult. So it does take time. And um, now this being, was this like the fifth year in this offense and how comfortable I am with it, it just, there is a learning process through there and the different techniques and landmarks and depths and all these different things. And then hearing all the different formations and motions and what's speaking to me, what isn't, um, all that all that does take time, but he, he's grasping it and he's come along with it and, and um, he's 100% in, so that's all you can ask for as a coach. Wes, how much do you need to see of Jalen before the season in this week off? Would that be enough for him? Um, you know, it's not ideal, but, you know, um, you know Jalen's Jalen's been in the office. This, this is his second year now. He, he got a lot of reps uh, this spring and and everything so you know I feel like he's pretty dialed in you know especially being a young player you would like him to get a, some of those reps um, you know before our, our, our week one and everything but um, but at the same time you know he he knows it and um, you know and and everything like that so I'm I'm not too worried about it um, it's more about his health and making sure he's ready to go and and uh, ready to sustain through the whole year. I know you and Frank and Mike talk about everything. But was there ever a discussion this summer about how to maximize Eric's skill set? And the reason I asked it is obviously mm -hmm. we saw the two runs. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, Eric is a freak. I mean, he, he, he's got a lot of ability and, um, and you see the flashes everywhere. Um, and so, you know, he, he's definitely doing some great things out there. It's just the consistency of everything that we're talking about and, and um, being able to do it, you know, exactly how we're saying and, and, um, and continue to work on that. But re young receivers in this league nowadays, it, it's, it's a different deal coming. They came from an offense in college. They, they didn't really run routes. They ran a slant and a go. And so it is, it is more of a process than it's ever been from college to the NFL for that position. Thank you. Is that different?